The man's dog came to the north for the first time in the snow actually out of the arrogant pace. Barker was very excited about the snowflakes, but he had to be sold by a dog trader. Then a black man saw Buck's strength and bought him, and that's how Buck came to have a second owner. But the man's wife was not happy to see Buck and said she could have bought two sled dogs for the same price. What they didn't know was that Buck saved their lives in the days that followed. Soon Buck was collared and officially became one of them. Then the men planned the route to their destination in front of the dogs. Barker, on the other hand, was not listening to them when the team was ready to go. Buck made a fool of himself in the back, not knowing how to cooperate. Running on his front feet, Buck falls off as he gains speed and is dragged along by the other dogs, all of whom are smiling. After a while, Buck finally caught up with the pack, but he was soon distracted by a rabbit on the side of the road. It was either that or an accident, and Buck caused the whole pack to fall down the hill. Buck's head was bowed like a child who'd made a mistake, but Paul didn't blame him and said that failure was the mother of success and encouraged Buck not to be discouraged. In the days that followed, Buck learned to work as a team, but before he was used to it, he collapsed in a heap. At night, Buck woke up freezing. Having grown up in a wealthy family, Buck had never been so cold. Then he came into the tent and pushed his mistress out of the tent. When she woke up, she looked at the sleeping Buck and immediately kicked him out. Then Buck noticed an animal he had never seen before lying on a rock and in his curiosity he approached it. When the animal stood up, it was a huge wolf. Buck was so frightened that he stepped on the sleeping dog. When he turned around, the wolf disappeared. The next day, the woofers set out again. But Buck was not used to walking on ice and slipped and slid. Barker couldn't get used to the ice and slid on the ice, which was right in front of Era's eyes. Era turned the corner in front of a dead tree and Barker tripped over the tree.